Is it worth doing a level one electrical installation course at, at age 28? What's the alternative, big man? You're going to continue working in um, ASDA or B&M or uh, was it a warehouse and that? What's the alternative? Listen, this is how life works, yeah? So let's say you do your level one and you get an apprenticeship and that. You're going to be on some shit wage. But, you know, you have to give to get. So you're going to have to make that sacrifice to be on a shit wage and virtually work for nothing so that one day you can work and earn 250, 300 pound a day. You don't have to. You can continue working for 100 pound, 150 pound a day. But I guarantee you, yeah, if you looked at two people's life paths, yeah, one person decided to work for a shit wage for a few years and then he gets slapped on 250, 300 pound a day. Or the person who just worked for 100 pound for the three years and then continued to work for 100 pound. I guarantee you on a long enough time scale, the guy that decided to make that sacrifice and work for a shit wage He's going to be on way more than a guy who just decided to work for £100 a day because he couldn't be bothered to get a skill or a trade. And basically, I'm that guy. <laughs> yeah? I was working for a shit wage. They was paying me like basically £5 an hour when I was at home's hiring gig. I was, I, was, I was working seven and a half hours a day on basically five pound an hour. So five sevens is 35 plus half, that's 250. So what, 37 pound 50, something like that. Yeah. I was on them shit wage there. But look now. So obviously, better sooner than later. You know what I mean? You don't want to be 40 years old on some dead apprentice wage. Yeah. But again, at the same time, you still got opportunities Saturday and Sunday to earn some money. Comments of 